Okay, in this video, I'm just going to continue with my previous video. We have the function, its first derivative and second derivative all on the same graph. And as you can see, this is really confusing because we don't know which one is what. So my goal is to show you how we can relabel and do the color coding on GeoGebra. And first of all, even though GeoGebra will give you a label, as you can see, we have the F right here, but it's very limited. You cannot move this around to any place on the graph paper. So what you need to do is, let's click on the curve, just double click on the curve, and then we can go to object properties. And here is the place that you're going to make, um, you know, make the graph as pretty as possible. Um, I don't like the label that they gave us, even though you can have to choose like instead of name, you can have choose like name and value. So that way you can see this is f of x is equal to x squared times e to the x, which is the original function. But it just doesn't move to the place that you want, okay? So it's very limited. I don't like that. So let me just check that off. And a shortcut is that if you click on the function right here, it's going to select all the functions that you have and you can just like, check them off. So you see all the labels disappear. Anyways, let me choose the first function, like the original function. Let me go to color. This is where we are going to change the color of the function. Uh, for the original, let me just do it in black. And I will go to style. I would like to make the curve thicker because when you're trying to copy this, paste onto the work file, and when you're trying to make um, photocopies, let's say you want to put this on an exam. When you're trying to make photocopies for the students, you should have the curve like thicker so that the printing will be uh, clear. And let me just pick seven, okay? Anyways, let's fix the first derivative now. So let me select first derivative and let me also do it to seven, but then let me just go to color. Let me change the first derivative to red. So now you see that red part is the first derivative. And on the left hand side, the equation also in red now. For the second derivative, let me just change that to blue style. Let me just change that to seven. And as you can see, notice that we have a line style. You can have make this like a dashed line if you would like, but it doesn't make sense in our situation. So uh, let me just do a solid line. Okay, so we have the black one, it's the original function. The red one is the first derivative and then the blue one is the second derivative. Now I need a label. Let me go to the text box, choose that, click on that, and then just press somewhere here. And this is the place that you're going to enter the, um, the equation for the function. So let me just type in f of x. And notice that we have the preview here. This is not the best possible uh, format um, for math. What you want to do is check the LaTeX uh, formula. So you see this looks more math, it looks prettier. Okay, let me continue f of x is equal to x squared, and you see this is the math print now, okay? x squared times e to the x, like this, and then press OK, and now you see that the black one is the original function, and with the text box, you get to move the text that um, anywhere that you want on the graph paper right here, on the window that you want. Anyways, let me do another one, text box, and this one, let me just choose the log take formula for now, this is going to be f prime of x, and let me just type in this like y is equal to the first derivative, and this is the first derivative, and let me just put it down right here, and let me do another one. So let me put the text box right here. Y is going to be the second derivative. That take formula, so it looks prettier. Okay. So now, uh, I would like to also make this in red and blue respectively. So I can just right click on the text box. You want to do right click. If you do double click on the text box, it's going to take you to uh, fix the text. Right click on the text box, go to object properties. And as you can see, this is text box number two, which is this one. And I can go to color. This is the first derivative, so let me choose red. And if you go to text right here, you, you can also make the the, um, the words bigger right here or smaller if you would like. I think this is good. Make it bold to make it more stand out if you would like, but let me just keep it as how it is. And right click on this, object property, and I'm just going to change this to blue. Okay, I think it's this blue. And now I'm much happier because as you can see, um, 
The black one's the original, the red one's the first derivative, and then the blue one's the second derivative. And you can just copy this view and then paste onto a Word file uh, to make your handout or to make your test, things like that. That's it.